Despite reassurance that contestants' medications would be distributed to them when needed, several contestants said they had not received their medication on time, including one contestant who needed insulin. That is actually really bad. Instead of receiving it, listen, buddy. If you know that you have a medical issue, don't sign up. It's as easy as that. I know there's something wrong with my heart. Maybe I should not be on a Mr. Beast set. It's, it's as easy as that. I don't understand this. It's like, yes, I understand that Mr. Beast is one of the biggest YouTuber and the reason why people are concerned is because what kind of message are you sending out there to the kids, right? But this is the internet. We've seen companies do worse things than this. BP, they've done horrible things in, in the Congo, in Nigeria. No one cares. So if a person did not get to eat or they did not get their insulin, what does that have to do with Mr. Beast? It's not really his responsibility. Yes, you're supposed to be kind. You're supposed to be a good host. But we see this every day. Companies just doing horrible, horrible things. And all that happens is that they're fine. Maybe what, two, three million? They destroy villages, ecosystems. No one cares. So I want you guys to keep the same energy that you're having for Mr. Beast for all of these corporations as well. When they're kids, when they're giving kids cancer, I, I don't hear and I don't even see people putting out videos about it. So it's just because it's Mr. Beast and he's popular. That's the only reason. That is the only reason. If it wasn't Mr. Beast, if this was just a corporation, people wouldn't care. This is happening today. The cobalt is getting mined right now. I do not see one big YouTuber talking about it. We don't care about the African kids. Their lives don't matter. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna break down the whole Mr. Beast controversy. But before we do that, I gotta take a bite. Mmm. So good. My gorbis. But anyway, Mr. Beast is embroiled in some controversy so let's see what's going on because i've seen a little bit but i haven't been following it that much so without further ado guys let's get straight into today's video and do not forget of course to like comment and share because it helps us out in the algorithm let's go Okay, we got a couple updates regarding the Mr. Beast situation. First off, the ex-employee who exposed Mr. Beast, Dogpack, has tweeted out a cryptic 48-hour timer, which I assume is hinting to a second exposed video on Mr. Beast. Now, apparently, he was saying that this video has even worse allegations than the first video, and obviously that could be pretty bad for Mr. Beast, considering the first one got 10 million views. Now, I'm just praying that it's not about the chair Charity work that Jimmy does because that stuff has always made me like Mr. Beast because, you know, he seemingly does help people and I want to support that. Anyways, we'll know the answer in a couple days and of course I'll be updating you guys then as well. But till then, here's everything that's gone down since the last video four days ago. First off, the story regarding Beast Games has actually gone mainstream okay. because the New York Times put out an article titled Willing to Die for Mr. Beast in 5 Million. The contestants in the Internet stars Beast Games expected outlandish challenges and signed contracts that acknowledged risks of serious injury and death. Still, few were prepared for the conditions on set. Basically, it had a lot of out- Listen, I get it. I understand that people are really pissed off about this, but they sign up for it. What is the problem with that? If you want to risk your life to be on a game show where Mr. Beast is the game host, what is the problem? I don't understand. It's crazy, yes. It's grown-ups consenting to whatever they want to do with their bodies. 
What is wrong with that? Allegations towards Mr. Beast saying that the conditions of filming were just horrible with contestants allegedly getting injured, uh, allegedly given medication late, apparently even took their underpants for some reason and then forgot to give it back for a long time. Lots of uh, wacky allegations. Now, from the people that I individually interviewed, it was pretty mixed. You know, some people had a perfectly fine experience and some people had a horrible experience. So it it's definitely split depending on where you were in the game. But uh, here's a couple highlights. For over a dozen people who participated in the first installment of Beast Games said that they had not received adequate food or medical care and that some competitors had suffered injuries from the physical challenges. Another described watching fellow contestants vomiting and appearing to pass out. There were several hospitalizations. That's obviously not good, not something you want to see happen in a sort of innocent game show. We signed up for the show, but we didn't sign up for not being fed or watered or treated like human beings, one contestant told the Times. Like many of the people who appeared in Mr. Beast YouTube videos, some of the contestants said that they needed the cash to pay for things like student loans and medical debt. After learning that they would be competing against twice as many people, some said they felt they had been misled about the odds of winning. Apparently, they thought they'd be competing against a thousand people, but it turned out to be two thousand instead. One meal described by several contestants included a tiny portion of cold oatmeal, one hard-boiled egg, and a few pieces of raw vegetables. We're all just looking up at the sky, screaming at him like he's God, one contestant said. Guards dressed in entirely in black, complete with face coverings, flanked the field. I guess it was sort of to emulate that Squid Game vibe, but uh, some people might think that it's a bit dystopian, you know, like you're actually bringing it to life. Despite reassurance that contestants' medications would be distributed to them when needed, several contestants said they had not received their medication on time, including one contestant who needed insulin. That is actually really bad. Instead of receiving it. Listen, buddy, if you know that you have a medical issue don't sign up it's as easy as that i know there's something wrong with my heart maybe i should not be on a mr beast set it's it's as easy as that i don't understand this it's like yes i understand that mr beast is one of the biggest youtuber and the reason why people are concerned is because what kind of message are you sending out there to the kids right but this is the internet. We've seen companies do worse things than this. BP, they've done horrible things in, in the Congo, in Nigeria. No one cares. So if a person did not get to eat or they did not get their insulin, what does that have to do with Mr. Beast? It's not really his responsibility. Yes, you're supposed to be kind, you're supposed to be a good host but we see this every day companies just doing horrible horrible things and all that happens is that they're fined maybe what two three million they destroy villages ecosystems no one cares so i want you guys to keep the same energy that you're having for Mr. Beast for all of these corporations as well. When they're kids, when they're giving kids cancer, I, I don't hear and I don't even see people putting out videos about it. So it's just because it's Mr. Beast and he's popular. That's the only reason. That is the only reason. If it wasn't Mr. Beast, if this was just a corporation, people wouldn't care. This is happening today. The cobalt is getting mined right now. I do not see one big YouTuber talking about it. We don't care about the African kids. Their lives don't matter. We're not talking about Tesla. We're not talking about all of these companies, all of these corporations doing worse things but we're sitting here and talking about mr beast oh he's such a horrible guy because johnny didn't get his lunch on time johnny decided that he wanted to be in a mr beast video so what's the problem consenting adults consenting to this what is the problem
hours or even days after the scheduled dosing times. Yeah, this could lead to some serious problems, especially things like insulin. One contestant said that she had initially been denied the food she required to take her medication and had been told by staff members that she didn't actually need to eat. After asking repeatedly, she was given half a banana. Why half? <laughs> Why not the full thing? <laughs> What's going on here? Here's the part about the alleged uh, underpants taking. Contestants were instructed to supply the production staff with a Ziploc bag containing five days worth of undergarments, mm. which would be distributed to contestants once the games were underway. But several contestants said that they had waited hours or even days to receive their clean underwear. Mm. Ain't no way this guy's gonna make them wear dirty underwear, bro. That's... That's crazy, that's crazy. Now we actually have some details about the challenges. Allegedly, there were three challenges. I, okay. I know what they are because the contestants told me, but I'm not sure I'm allowed to reveal it. So I'm only gonna say what's in the article here, right? The first challenge involved five teams of 400 people pulling ropes at- I have to say this, right? When it comes to Mr. Beast's videos and the content that he creates, I've, I've always thought it's a little weird. Like, when I watch some of his videos, I'm like, there's just something which I don't like about his videos. That's why I don't watch them. There are a lot of people which watch his videos. He's the biggest YouTuber in the world. But I've always had, like, somewhat of a weird feeling watching his videos. I can't explain it. The, what is it called? Mr. Beast uh, charity videos. I love those videos because he went to Africa and built a lot of wells and people were complaining over the fact that he went to Africa and built wells. I'm like, it doesn't really matter if he's filming it or not. For me, it doesn't matter. Let's say he's making a lot of money from this and he's not really doing it from his heart, right? For me, it doesn't matter because he's at least going there. He's at least doing something. He's at least at least he's helping compared to the countries themselves. But African countries, they choose to let the people starve because if you look at South Africa, they had what, uh, I think it was the World Cup in South Africa and people were starving on the streets. Guess what? They took money, they invested in stadiums. And after the World Cup, those stadiums were just there. That's why there is corruption, there is. And I do understand why people are super pissed off, but I'm just saying like, that is how it is. That's to 10,000 pound weights as fast as possible. The issues began, participants said, when they were broken into those teams. A, a scramble for team pennies quickly became uh, chaotic and frightening. Several said, describing a crush of people pushing and shoving other contestants while the production staff was unable to calm the crowd. One contestant described hyperventilating amid the scene. Another said that she had been almost horizontal and had feared being trampled. Yeah, this is the issue having physical challenges when your contestants are male, female, and elderly as well, because obviously the young and fit guys are just going to absolutely body everyone. And there should be some rules against that. You can't just, you know, roughhouse people and, you know, win that way, right? I don't know. I feel like the challenge just chosen should have been something that's like uh more similar to the squid game stuff where you know you're cutting out a little bit of a cookie or something like that Aww. where you know where there's no like obvious advantages to certain groups of people right now the article ends with an ominous line they had signed a contract that they were willing to die for this now in defense of mr beast i'm pretty sure that's like standard practice in like reality tv or game shows and stuff like that but uh but of course people are not expecting to die in a in a game like this these contracts are just to waive any liability if people get injured or something like that right okay. here's some of the top comments when suffering and debasement are the conditions of so-called charity what actually actually is taking place is exploitation. It's not philanthropy, so please don't call it that. It's internet entertainment of the worst kind. This guy's indicative of exactly what's wrong with the world right now. The fact that he has millions of- Yeah, this is what they're saying. Let the kids starve. Let the kids not have clean water. That's what they're saying. They rather that the kids do not have this because Mr. Beast is not allowed to go there and bore these wells for the kids. He's not allowed to. Let the kids starve instead. I'm asking you guys, what is the alternative? 
followers only proves my point. You know, I've always thought that the philanthropy is a little bit separate, right? Like if he's building homes mm. for people in Africa, that's obviously amazing and stuff like that. But if he needs to do something for entertainment or content, I understand that. But obviously people need to be safe, right? You can't be having these sort of mismanaged conditions there, allegedly, right? Looking forward to the episode of Mr. B. But that's the thing as well. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. If you hire actors, then he's faking. What is he supposed to do? How is he supposed to make money? He wants to get ahead. Like any other person, he wants to get ahead. So yeah, he's going to try to maneuver and manipulate. That's what he's going to try to do. Because the system is rigged. The system is... You can't even make money because let's say I make a 50. I gotta pay taxes on that 50. And the next person, next person, like the 50 ain't a 50 after five hands. Cause it's so much taxes. It's so much like we're getting milked so hard. So of course people like Mr. Beast appear because you're a product of your environment. Where his victims sue him into bankruptcy. All right, so as I said, all those are allegations. I personally do not know what went down there because I personally wasn't there, but there seem to be a lot of reports from a lot of people that are concerning. Now, we gotta move on to the next thing. We gotta talk about Mr. Beast's <sighs> latest video. Okay. The one about the nuclear bunker. Damn. And there's a lot of controversy regarding that one as well. Here we have a tweet about the dislikes on the video. Mr. Beast might be cooked actually, 500K plus dislikes in an hour and still counting on his latest video. Jimmy and his team are also deleting all the comments mentioning the Chris Tyson situation. Is this the downfall of Mr. Beast? And he's attached a screenshot with uh, 900k likes and 500k Damn. dislikes which seemingly looks That's bad. A lot. And he's attached a video where you're trying to click the replies of a comment but it disappears because that comment is getting deleted in real time. Basically anybody being sort of uh, critical towards Mr. Beast or anybody pointing out any of these situations any of the many dramas and mentioning dog pack they're probably sort of like banned from his comment section right I don't think that he should be deleting comments and I think that there should be an open discussion about what happened and the people in his crew yes 100% but Mr. Beast I think should just make a video where he addresses this that's it sit down talk about it say this is what happened I did not know about it or I found out about it this time just give us a timeline a quick little video no apology i don't think that he should apologize for anything because you can't dictate what other people are doing if you're mr beast hey you're gonna work with a lot of people and some of these people have done crazy things Scott Community noted, YouTube stopped reporting dislikes in 2021. The number reported in the image is an estimate based on an extension called Return YouTube Dislike. Okay. It is calculated from dislikes submitted by extension users <sighs> and can overestimate the actual number of dislikes on a video. Okay, basically people are saying that it's not that many dislikes, right? Now it turns out Drumalert reached out to the Mr. Beast team to get the actual dislikes on the video. Yeah. We apologize, we just deleted a tweet showing 500k dislikes on Mr. Beast's new upload. This info came up from a third party app that allows you to see the dislikes. Fellow creators reached out saying that the third party app is not to be trusted. We also got in contact with Mr. Beast and here's a screenshot of allegedly the actual dislikes on the video, which is only 4,099.6%, which is definitely sus. The current dislikes directly from the Mr. Beast team. Chucky the fake PR guy responded as well. Here's a video in case anyone thinks it's fake. The Chrome extension saying it had 1 million dislikes is false. Mm. And Chucky has attached this video where he's scrolling and uh, pulls up the dislikes and you can see 20,000 there, there dislikes there and 99.1% ratio. Yeah. He's refreshed it a couple times to prove that it's real. Now, do I believe the Mr. Beast team is lying about these dislikes? I cannot say, okay? I just know that this Chucky guy will do absolutely anything to get good PR for Mr. Beast and the math does not add up. The amount of people commenting about this controversy and knowing about the Mr. Beast drama, the original dog pack video has 10 million views. My videos combined have like, I don't know, 10, 12 million views as well. It is one of the biggest dramas on YouTube. It is pretty much obvious that Mr. Beast's latest video will get this like. I do not support that. I do not encourage that by the way. 
but it is likely that people will go out of the way to dislike these videos. So it is very unlikely there's a 99.1% ratio, but I also don't believe it has 1 million dislikes. In reality, I think the real number is somewhere in between those two numbers. You can form your own conclusions there, but very weird that YouTube is not showing an accurate uh, picture of the dislikes there. I remember they removed the dislike button supposedly to protect smaller creators, at least that was their cited reason, but turns out it only ended up protecting larger creators and larger brands who ever get into some sort of controversy, right? And it also made it much harder to detect scam videos. Now the creator of the return YouTube dislike extension has responded as well. By now 87k mm. users with an extension disliked the video and only 56k liked it. So we can see already he's saying 87k disliked it, yet on the studio we, we don't see anything past 20k. Maybe it was a, a, at a different time, but very suspicious. A very good portion of these users were created a long time ago. If we want to believe that these dislikes are botted, someone would have to come up with this plan over a year ago, create tens of thousands mm. of fake accounts, sure. keep realistic looking activity on these accounts for a year, pretending to be real people, and only today would they attack Mr. Beast. So basically they're real. Regarding the figure in the screenshot, I simply do not see it possible for the video to be performing better than their channel average despite all the controversy. I completely agree. Mm. It could be that YouTube is not updating dislike counts in YouTube Studio for some some reason some random reason guys some random reason that all the comments are also getting deleted like uh just getting wiped off the face of the earth there is no war in ba sing se guys this is nothing going on at all mr beast is squeaky clean of course I just hate how they try to sweep everything un under the rug like some sort of hollywood type project i think the thing which mr beast is doing wrong is that he wants to have a squeaky clean image that is the only thing which I feel like he's doing wrong. But we also have to stop, pause, and think, what did the man actually do? What did he, like, look at it from a Logan Paul's perspective, right? He scammed people. People's, people are still following him. It's like they forgot. And that is the same I don't know if it's method or whatever Logan has done, Mr. Beast has to implement that in his strategy because if you're squeaky clean, if you just do anything, doesn't matter if you, I don't know, like an example of something bad, I don't know, slap a kid, then you're done. Compared to guys which are going around doing horrible things, it's like, you already expect it from Logan, like, it's just Logan, yeah. It's just Logan. Mr. Beast, you don't expect it from, because he's trying to really have this clean image. Even when he, I was watching a video of him when he was like, saying that he doesn't swear on his videos or any, I say f You can't have a squeaky clean image, that's, it doesn't work. If you're the world's biggest YouTuber, you have to, be used to controversy. Look at Trump. Where something secret, something shady, and something genuinely, potentially, allegedly illegal is going on, and yet they don't even bother giving their fans an answer. Like, I like Jimmy. If you just have to scroll on my channel of seeing the 50 videos I made defending him to know that I like Jimmy. And um, I just want a response from him because I feel betrayed, you know, seeing all these allegations come up, you know? And inaccuracy is definitely possible due to how controversial this video is. After all, the extension serves 20 million and people on a budget of 500 can never be as accurate as Google. I can imagine the estimate being wrong by two to three times simply because how different an average member of Mr. Beast's audience yeah. is from an average dislike extension user. True. But the numbers from the screenshot are simply Makes impossible. Sense. Exactly, only 4,000 or 20,000 dislikes is just unheard of. I don't know what Chucky is trying to prove here. He obviously knows that's wrong as well. Now we got to talk about the reports from several, several people that Mr. Beast is deleting comments from his video. Mr. Beast team is actively deleting all the comments from his latest video that talk about him being ex and he's attached to videos here
I'm about 99% sure this is a YouTube bug. Jimmy isn't giving people full access to the one number one YouTube channel just to delete comments. This is incredibly naive. He's managed by an agency. They're doing it. Obviously, this is happening. We can see it in real time. Now, they can claim that YouTube is auto-deleting any negative comments towards Mr. Beast, but that would make no sense. They've clearly banned certain phrases from the comment section, such as maybe dog pack or Mr. Beast drama or something like that, where people literally have to change languages to type their comments in because that way it doesn't get flagged or something. Here are some comments from Mr. Beast's latest video. It appears people are trying to get past the filters. Stop deleting comments. This is staged. And basically they don't put any space bar because somehow that gets caught in the filter and gets deleted. Remember back then when it wasn't all about the money? We all miss old Mr. Beast. I miss the old days of Mr. Beast. Are you being paid to delete these comments? I miss the old Kanye. And it's very weird because none of these have replies. So I don't know if these are bots or actual real people whose replies are getting deleted. It's just it's just really Maybe. confusing to me because nobody is being transparent. YouTube's not transparent. Jamie's not transparent. So I don't really know what's happening here. Mr. Deleting Comments, okay? Jimmy probably put a filter on comments. Nobody put spaces so he can't delete your comments. So you can see that a lot of people are essentially commenting. In fact, the amount of likes on these negative comments is already outweighing the supposed dislikes. So that already tells me that this video has been disliked way more than uh, Chucky from the Mr. Beast team actually shared. So I don't know, take that as you will. Now, this is obviously a very bad look in my opinion. When you try to silence any criticism by deleting comments, sending cease and desist, sending a random Chucky employee to respond to the allegations for you, especially a guy like Chucky. When we know you're watching in the back and have responded to the Ava Chris Tyson situation, apparently that situation got big enough that you're talking about it. But this situation, which is even bigger, uh, and involves you directly, that you can't talk about. Now, I know he's not gonna make a video and signal boost it to another 300 million people, but at least make a tweet, man. These are some horrible allegations and people want to know the truth, even your supporters. Now, another thing that people want to know is that is this controversy actually affecting Mr. Beast in any way? Well, right now, it really seems like he's too big to fail, yeah. that even videos with 10 million views exposing him barely make a dent at yeah. all, and he can just delete the comments, send a cease and desist, and the situation goes away. And basically, people like some of the philanthropy work that Mr. Beast does, they see that he's building homes for people, and they say that, oh, he's doing good things, therefore everything else can be overlooked, doesn't matter if it's extremely shady. But in reality, that's obviously not how it works, but that's how people will defend him. Now, mm. I think it will all depend on Dogpack's next video, which may possibly go into Mr. Beast's like charity endeavors and things like Team Seas, which was apparently not doing much for the ocean. So especially if there's things wrong with this charity work or something, that would be absolutely horrible. Praying not, obviously, but, but yeah, till then, he is really just too big to fail. First of all, I gotta say, this video is very, informative and I like it uh, a response video to dog pack which made the mr. beast expose video go out do something instead of hating on other people instead of talking shit about mr. beast you do it I'm so tired of haters go out and do it yourself if you think that Mr. B sucks and what he's doing is wrong, then show us a better way.